the way I entered this picture was in 2002, I read an article in the Sunday New York Times. It was June 2nd of 2002. The article was written um, by a woman. The question that this, that this article in the Sunday New York Times addressed was, where are the women directors? And it was coming out that specific weekend because it was the Sunday before the Friday that Divine Sisters of the Yaya Sisterhood was about to premiere in New York. And the question being addressed by the author, by Dana Kennedy, was, why has it taken such a long time after Callie Khoury won the Oscar for the screenplay for Thelma and Louise, why did it take almost a full decade before we saw her film, a film directed by Callie Khoury on a multiplex screen? And this is very unusual because a lot of times when a male writer wins an Oscar, within a couple of years he's already you know a darling he's a promising young filmmaker and you see his films out there right away so the question addressed in this Sunday Times article was why did it take so long for Callie Khoury who made such a huge impact with her screenplay for Thelma and Louise to finally finally get the chance to direct this movie and show the movie in the mainstream audiences and so she sort of went, you know, well, some people think it's prejudice, and some people think it's this, and some people think it's that. And really, do women really want to direct? Are they willing to make the commitment to direct? Well, the feisty feminist in me was incensed. I was so angry. And she had mentioned in this article a woman named Martha Lausen, who's a professor at San Diego State University in California, who had been doing all this research, which she calls the annual celluloid ceiling report. And it's because of Martha Lausen that we have these statistics that we know 7% of this, 83% of that, because of Martha Lausen's work. So I dashed off a letter to the Sunday New York Times. And my letter basically said, you want to know why you're not hearing more why it's so hard for women to get their movies into the multiplex, look at who the reviewers are. So I said, if you want more movies that women audiences will enjoy, you have to have some female critics on staff. And I sent it off to the New York Times, and I just sort of, you know, and, I, and then I looked up Martha Lausen, and I found her address at San Diego State University, and I sent her a copy of the letter, and I said, you know, I was so inspired by what you wrote, by, by the research that I read about in the, in the Sunday New York Times, I sent this letter to the New York Times. Lo and behold, I go off to a conference three weeks later, and I come back from the conference, and there's Richard holding up the Sunday New York Times of June 30th, and there's my letter, shortened a bit, <laughs> a little reworded, <laughs> but there's my letter in the Sunday New York Times. And now they have a woman on staff, which happened about six months after my letter was published.